Okay, I, I want us to continue looking at the tree diagram. There's a question that I picked up here in November 2012. It was question four. November 2012, question four. They've also had our uh, tree, diag tree diagram there in our events out three. Let's look, at, let's look at the question. During a summer in a certain city in South Africa, the probability of a sunny day is 4 over 7 and the probability of a rainy day is 3 over 7. And you can see those are the branches and they, when we add them together they'll give us one. I repeat, during summer in South Africa, in a certain city in South Africa, the probability of a sunny day is 4 over 7 and the probability of a rainy day is 3 over 7. Let's write that down. Probability, this is a sunny day, this is what? A rainy day. The probability of a sunny day is 4 over 7. Once they say 4 over 7, they didn't have to give me the probability of a rainy day. Because when I add these two branches, I must get 1. So the only way that I'll be getting 1 here is if I have 3 over 7. And they should tell me that, yes, and the probability of a rainy day is 3 over 7. So it is correct. Right, uh, let's look at these bullets that they've given us. If it is a sunny day, so when we talk of a sunny day, I will go to that branch. If it is a sunny day, then the probability that Vusi cycles to work is 7 over 10. The probability that Vusi drives to work is 1 over 5. And the probability that Vusi takes a train to work is 1 over 10. So there are three things, the three things here happening. Uh, it's either Vusi cycles to work, Vusi takes a train to work, or let me, let me read again. If it is a sunny day, the probability that Vusi cycles to work is that, and Vusi drive, cycles, drives, and takes a train. There are three, three things that Vusi can do. Can either cycles to work, take a train or drive to work. Let's write those probabilities. I repeat, if it is a sunny day, so it takes me exactly where am I supposed to go to a sunny day. If it is on a sunny day, then the probability that Vusi cycles to work. Vusi cycles to work. What is that probability? It is 7 over 10. Uh, Vusi drives to work, another probability that Vusi drives to work. What is that probability given to us? Uh, Vusi drives to work, it's 1 over 5. Ah, this is what I was talking about. This 1 over 5, uh, 1 over 5. I can see, but there I've got over 10. How can I change this to be 10? This is the same as if I multiply 5 times what would give me 10 times 2. So this is 2 over 10 is the same as 1 over 5. We've put there as 1 over 5 just to confuse you. And the probability that Vusi takes a train to work is 1 over 10. And Vusi also takes a train to work. It is 1 over 10. You can see 7 over 10 plus 2 over 10. It is 9. These two will give us 9 over 10. You will be short of 1 over 10. So when I add all this, I will get 1. So th then the, my branches are correct. We were just dealing with the days when it is a sunny day. If it is a rainy day now, we are coming to a rainy day. There are also three events there. If it is an rainy day, the probability that Vosa cycles to work is 1 over 9. The probability that Vosa drives to work is 5 over 9. And the probability that Vosa takes a train to work is 1 over 3. There are also three events there. He cycles, he drives, he takes a train. Let's find those probabilities. Let's start from the top. If it is a, a, a rainy day, this day, the probability that Vosi cycles to work is 1 over 9. Cycle, it's 1 over 9. Uh, what is the next one? The probability that Vosi drives to work, it's 5 over 9. Vosi drives, it's 5 over 9. Now, what is 1 plus 5? It's 6 over 9. This has to be 3 over 9 without looking at it. 
this should be 3 over 9, right? We know that it's 1 over 9, 1 plus 5, it is 6, 6 plus 3, it's 9. So 9 over 9 will be, will, will be uh, 1. So I know that this one should be 3 over 9. Let's check it. Uh, Vusi takes a train, the probability that Vusi takes a train to work is 1 over 3, 1 over 3. What happened here? They've changed this 3 over 9, which I expected, and they divided uh, the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3. That's where the 1 over 3 comes from. So at times we'll just confuse and not give you the same denominators, but it should be the same ratio, it should be the same proportion. All right. What is it that we've done here? We've just done our tree diagram. This is our tree diagram. And most cases will be required to write the outcomes after you have your tree diagram. Now, let's look at the outcomes that we have here. The first outcome is a sunny day, sunny day circles. The next outcome is sunny day drives. The next outcome is sunny day takes a train. The next outcome is rainy day cycles. The next outcome is rainy day drives to work. The next outcome is on a rainy day Vusi takes a train. Right. These are the outcomes. You indicate there that you are dealing with outcomes so that you'll know exactly what you're doing. If you have to calculate these probabilities, it will be equals to 4 over 7, 4 over 7 times 7 over 10. You can find the solution there. This one will be equals to sunny day drives, sunny day drives. So you look at the branches there, it is 4 over 7 times 1 over 5. You'll get your answer there. Sunny day takes a, a taxi. Sunny day takes a taxi. It is 4 over 7 times. Uh, what are we doing? Sunny day takes a train. Sunny day takes a train. So it's 1 over 10. You can find these answers on your own. Rainy day cycles to work. Rainy day, it's 3 over 7 times what? Rainy day cycles, cycles. So it's 1 over 9. We can find the solution. Rainy day drives, rainy day drives to work. It is 3 over 7 times what? Times 5 over 9. Rainy day takes a train. This will be equals to 3 over 7 times 1 over 3. Then you can answer any question about suppose or Yona about uh, the, 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 the tree diagram. And these questions can come in hand as well. The, the, the additional rule can be added in those, in those questions on the tree diagram. But the most important skill is for us to be able to sketch this tree diagram. I repeat, these branches, when I add them, I must get one. All these three must give me one. All these three must give me one. These are the outcomes. To find the outcomes, I go along branches. The first outcome is SD times C, which is that one, four times that one. That's how you go about finding the branches. Now that we are, we are through with the tree diagram, I want us to go to the next diagram called the Venn diagram. Thank you.